space. Try to decide from all the history things and the exam findings and stuff like that. Try to decide what your physical exam flow would be. And I want you to write it down. And I want it to be commensurate to what's going on with this patient. And you can even look at the exam findings that I have, which aren't comprehensive. Oh, she got one. She got, she got one. Oh, she got yeah. no one. Um, or, what I really want you to do is look at the entire case and be like, okay, what realistically would I do with this with this patient? What would I have to do? Did you go? Yes. Okay. I was <laughs> like, I thought. Uh, like, what would what would my DDX list? Even though you have a diagnosis or a couple diagnoses, what would a, DD, a good like concise DDX list be for this particular patient? And how would I investigate that? And then put it together in a flow that makes sense. So you're not having the patient stand up and sit down and stand back up again, then lay prone and stand back up. Uh, and, and come up with your flow. It there is no flow, so don't don't go searching on like up to date for one. There's not one. Uh, and don't you know come up with your own flow, but really think about it. Like what would make sense for me? Well, I would probably want to do this, this, and this standing, and then and then I'd probably do seated, and I'd probably add that other thing in there because it could be something else. And then I'd probably have the patient prone, and then do these tasks, and I wouldn't want to forget about these kind of things. So I want to rule this out. And, I, and then I'm going to want, there'll be no doctor patient, so the doctor will be your name, and then you'll hand this in with your midterm. So you'll come in and pair and, and 